Hello everyone, welcome to Ritsushik channel, myself Karthik Purnasami. Today we are going to look at what is packages in Java. So let me start with a quick story. So let's say uh, one of your friend is sending some parcel to you and let's say once the courier guy, he calls you and he says, hello boss, you have some package. So what does that package means? So package is nothing but it's kind of a container which holds the parcel, right? Like the, the item, whatever your friend has sent it to you, right? Similarly, in Java, we call this as package because we are writing a lot of, you know, classes, interfaces, annotations, etc, etc. In our real time project, let's say we have hundreds of 200s of classes we have, right? So we want to categorize those classes. So that is what we call as packages, which is nothing but grouping of classes, interfaces, annotations, etc. So now let's see why do we need to use classes in uh, packages in Java. The reason is that, so let's say I want to create a class called Karthik and similarly there is a requirement that I need to create another class called Karthik which is not possible within the same package, right? So let's say I have two packages, package A and package B, wherein I can create a class called Karthik in package A. And similarly, I can create a class called Karthik in package B. There is no name, naming conflict. So this is going to resolve this naming classic uh, class name conflicts. The second one is, let's say when you have a real time implementation and when there is a client is saying, you know, there is some issue going on and wherein we have to go and, you know, narrow down the issue. So if you have categorize the classes uh, within our application, it is very easy for us to get deeper into that. Instead of going through all the classes within the application, let's get deeper into only the particular set of classes and analyze the issue. Basically, it saves a lot of time for the developers to debug an issue. And second thing is, so there are two types of uh, packages we have. One is uh, default package and the other one is user defined package. So by default, when you create a Java project, uh, you will have a default package. Within that, you can create a number of classes. But if you need any uh, you know, user defined uh, packages, then you can create a package as well. We will see in the Eclipse in the next video. And uh, so how we can uh, you know create a package? So by with the help of this example, I will explain it. So let's say you have a package called, uh, you want to create a package called package A. So you have to use the keyword package. So package, then package name. So let's say package A. So within this package, you are creating a class called class A and there is some set of code you have, right? And let's say you want to use this class A in another package. For that, I want to create another package called package 3. So there will be package, package 3, right? So now let's say I want to create a class called class B in package B. So let's say class B. Here I'm writing a class. And if I want to use, uh, you know, the A, A class, which is exists in the second uh, package A, then what I should do is A, A equal to new A of, if I write this like this, then this class is not able to identify the class A, which exists in the another package. So in order to identify this, uh, you know, class A in class B, I have to use the keyword called import. Because with the help of import keyword, what I'm doing is I'm importing the package from, uh, you know, the class A from package a so i'm putting like import package a dot a which means i'm importing the class a from the package a into this particular package and hence i am able to use you know this particular a class here so here i'm trying to create an object of class a here right if i don't use this import keyword if i don't use this import keyword then i have to write here so package a dot a is equal to package a dot a of so this is not easy way of implementing like in writing the classes with a fully qualified name all the times instead of doing like this we can simply write uh, you know using the keyword import wherein we want to import whatever the classes are uh, within the other packages we want we can simply import it let's say if i want all the classes under this particular package then i have to say import package a dot star so star is nothing but wildcard meaning like all the classes which are under uh, package a will be imported here so if you see here, I always write the package keyword, package statement the first, and then I'm importing it. The reason is that, so first of all, the thumb rule is that package keyword should be always the first line in your code if you use the package. Because if you don't use this package and if you try to import it, it is going to create a compile time error. So let's see how it goes in our real time implementation. Let's get deeper into our Eclipse. Let me create a uh, Java project to demonstrate the package. So let me go to, uh, Eclipse, file, new, Java project. I'm giving the Java project name. Then let me click on finish. Okay, Java project got created. So if you see here, so SRC folder is, uh, is there. So I want to create a package. So right click SRC folder, right click. So create a package. Then you have to define the package name. 
so let's say package a okay click on finish so under this package i want to create a class called a so let me click on this package a and then new right click new then class then class name as a okay and similarly i want to create another package which is under src so click on src right click new package this package name is package b all right so under this package b i want to create another class called class b which is uh, so i have to click on right click on package b new class so the class name is b click on finish now if i see here i have a class um, a and class b and class a is under package a and class b is under package b right so now i am going to try to create an object of a in b so the uh, now i am in class b so here i am going to create an object for a so a a is equal to new a of right so it is going to throw an error saying that it, it is not able to find the class a a cannot be resolved to a type so here we have to define let's say we have to use import statement import so we have to import the class a from package a right so import package a dot a so now this class b is able to identify this a class if i see if i mouse over on the class a this a it is showing me that package a dot a so this is how we have to use the package and if i don't use this import statement then i have to use all the times package a dot a in wherever i am using this class okay but uh, by default this is not the ideal way of implementing it the reason is that uh, if i have a lot of classes under the another package then i cannot use this you know fully qualified name in every places so by default java is giving lot of packages so when we start building our application so uh, we may be using uh, you know uh, default packages and if i want to create our custom packages we can create like this package a package b and we can use it and if i don't want to use uh, custom packages then right click on src if i click on new then class let's say test when i create this so i am creating this test class without any packages so i am able to see this test dot java got created under default package so this is what default package is uh, the default one uh, by default it is given by java and these are the packages which we created by the user so this is called user defined package and this is the default package so if you guys have any questions regarding this video please post your comments in the comment section i will be more than happy to assist if you guys like this video please hit the thumbs up button and please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends thanks for learning at dutch tech i will see you in the next video